Greg Callahan, 28 years young, and around 191 centimeters, 5'11. Alrighty. Uh, it's a Da Vinci Spartan in extra large. It's a very custom sparkly emerald green. Yeah, it's sick. So it has 165 mm travel in the rear, 170 on the front. The reach is about 490, and the head angle is around 65, I think. So I'm running 100 psi in the fork with two tokens, and I'm running 170 psi in the rear with two tokens also. I've tried the spring in the rear. I've tried both. They both work well on this bike, but I feel I felt more comfortable on the air. You know, this new Fox stuff is as plush as a coil, really, um, and then it's just more adjustable. You've that more support in the mid stroke, I think, is really important for enduro for pedaling and pumping and just being efficient. Um, whereas the coil kind of loses that a bit. You know, it's a bit more wallowy and it kind of sits, you know, pushes through its travel a bit easier. So uh, I think for for what I'm using it for, that the air suits better. Um, so at the moment, I'm running uh, Asagai front DHR2 in the rear. Uh, they're double down, but when I go away, I'll run DH casing. Uh, Koshkor front and rear, and I'm running 21 psi in the front and 23 psi in the rear. So bar width is 770 mil, rise 35 mil, and the stem is 35 mil as well. It's all, all standard geometry. Um, you know, we had the option of doing a bit of custom stuff like that, but I felt comfortable and I haven't really felt the need to change much. Yes, brake levers, I have them, I actually have them sitting kind of different. So I'll have the front coming in a bit more to the bar than the rear, um, so it's a bit less grabby. And then the front lever is also a bit lower, just because um, from an old shoulder injury, and my kind of shoulders sit at different angles, so then that kind of transfers down the arm into the hand. Um, so they, anyone who gets on my bike says they're way off, but to me it actually just kind of feels normal. Um, and then yeah, I run the levers a little bit loose, so then you know if you crash, it'll move out of the way rather than snapping the lever or anything. Um, and then it's pretty easy just to move it back up again. Grip choice, lizard skin machine. Uh, new grip this year, really comfy. Yeah, so something unusual is brake pads. So we're running center brakes, brake pads. Um, so instead of just having your centered and organic type of pads, they have different colors. So four different strengths. Um, the strongest ones are crazy strong. Um, and then they, you know, they go all the way to mellow and they don't really change between weather conditions or heat. So that's the, the big strength of them is really they don't heat, they don't fade with heat. Um, so I'm running the blue ones, which is kind of in the middle. Um, you know, quite grabby, but not too much that you can't really feel the modulations. I'd never really played around with it before, but it can really make a difference to how the bike feels. Yeah, I'd say the main difference from my bike from last year is probably the geometry. Uh, it feels a lot more comfortable in the size. I feel more centered on the bike. And then the suspension's a lot more active. Um, so it's really push off the start, but then gives a really good platform in the middle to push off. So it's kind of best of both worlds, really. Yeah, stoked with it. She goes like the clappers. <laughs> <laughs>